Hey everyone, today is another day. So, um, starting with Skinny Brew, I have my greens and uh, thought there was nothing I was supposed to review. Okay, so there's this book. There's this book um, I want to talk about. It's called Agent 355, and it's about the women spies that it's specifically on a woman. Her name happens to be Elizabeth, um, and she was a spy for the British, um, and she's the one who helped people discover that um, that oh my gosh what is his name I just went blank um, Benedict Arnold was a traitor and was a part of uh, the American army and was spying for Great Britain and she was the one who revealed it and George Washington found out about it and it is such a cool story it is free on audible at the moment and it's only like two and a half hours of listening so it's not a bad listen and of course it doesn't take that long to listen to it especially if you speed it up which I do um, such a good story and the whole time I'm like oh my gosh is this true did this really happen and then the author's note at the end was like yes this is completely true i was stunned and i'm thinking about especially how it ends i don't want to tell you how it ends i was just devastated for this woman and the author is trying to bring more a uh, female story more of the the women who were a part of the uh, America's the American Revolution, um, because their stories aren't told. You know what's interesting is it reminds me of I watch the Karen Hunter show, and on every Saturday, it is a man named Dr. Greg Carr, and he is a. I don't think I'm gonna use him. I think I'm gonna use some of his their talks in my class. Uh, my class is in Swall, and he is a professor of Africana Studies. He's the chair of Africana Studies, professor there at um, at uh, Howard University. He's um, he has a PhD and a law degree, so he teaches not just in the Africana Studies program, but he also teaches in legal in the law program. I mean, their um, their law school and. He, one of the things that he asserts about uh, slaves, he said, how did slaves know about some of, you know, know about like some of the things that were taking place? Clearly, most of them not just, um, you know, were not allowed to read and couldn't read. And so one of the things that he brings up is that you have to remember that even when you talk about the Constitutional Convention, who was in the shadows, the slaves. And they were fully aware of what was happening in all of these rooms. And so what's so fin interesting about, I say this story to say that it's how Agent um, 355 operates. Is She's like, look, the coolest thing here is that I am a woman and nobody cares about me nobody notices me they talk as if I don't exist so use me because I don't exist come to find out they did clearly they did find out who she that she was a spy but something's wrong with I think I, the handle wasn't pushed down so my eyes didn't come up so I have like very little ice this morning which is not helpful I am dragging because I've only had like four hours of sleep in the last three days. 
so I'm just exhausted. Um, anyway, um, it's such a good read or listening audible book. I was just stunned that this is a true story and it makes a lot of sense how the role because nobody talks about the role of of women definitely working as spies and there are a lot of women who are working as spies um, because they were so because people felt like they were threatening and you can talk to them you can talk about them and they won't you can talk about anything with them in the room. And it's the same thing with um, slaves. They're like, they don't understand such important issues and different things like that. So ah, they're inconsequential. And then come to find out they're not inconsequential. So it's a, it's a, pretty, good, um, it's a pretty good analogy. Anywho, um, Greenleaf is tonight. And, you know, like I said, I'm ready for the show to end. So we'll see how tonight, as we're inching closer to the end, the series is going, this is the last season for the series. So that's pretty exciting. Anyway, I will, uh, maybe, I mean, if P-Valley comes on today, then I'll watch it. Because it's a show that you definitely can't watch with the kids in the house. Have a great afternoon. Bye.